Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. 10,000 subscribers, it's crazy. We're closing in on 15,000. When we get to 15,000 subscribers, I'm gonna announce the winner of the $250 Aircraft Spruce gift card. And when we get to 20,000 subs, I got another crazier giveaway coming. In today's video, you guys are gonna see me and my buddy Kyle take our seaplane down to the Bahamas. Now, although I am seaplane rated, I'm currently not current on our insurance, so I won't be flying it today, but I will be riding a shotgun, so you guys will see that. Let's get into the video. Today's a good one. Let's go. Welcome to the caravan. It's a big mofo. As you can see, we're fueling it right now. Fuel truck fits underneath the wing of the airplane because it's just that big. So, this is her. It's a 10 passenger aircraft. Holds 10 people. Well, pilot plus nine. Uh, big, uh, PT6 up on the front. So let the fuel guys finish fueling up and uh, we're gonna fire the sucker up, head out. I wanted to take a quick second to talk about my friends over at Wingview Tint. They sent me over an awesome package <clears throat> of these really cool sunshades. Um, so this just slaps up in the window. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but super great when you're flying, you're flying into the sun and you know, maybe those rose and visors aren't doing what you need. You just slap the sucker up in the window, cuts down on some of that glare, a lot of the heat. So um, I love using them when I fly. We'll throw one up in the uh, in the cockpit today, show you guys the difference. Um, but it's night and day as far as the heat's concerned. I have their full set in my Citation. I have their full Citation cockpit set in my plane. Um, and I also use the slap shades in the Gulfstream as well. So I'll show you guys some of those in the future. But today, got a brand new one for the caravan. It's a crazy climb to get up in this sucker. But let's do a cockpit tour real quick. All right, so in the caravan, we've just got standard six pack in here. Don't really need um, anything fancy. We do have the uh, Garmin set up in here. Uh, if Avidon wants to send me something else to put in there, that'd be rad. So here's something a lot of people don't know. The caravan can fly with stuff strapped down to the, uh, to the floats or in between. You can load this thing up with all kinds of crap and it'll fly. She's not fast, she's really slow airplane even with the floats. We do about 140 knots over the ground. Um, so you're not getting anywhere in a hurry, but we can land in the water, which makes it also pretty cool. So it's a really simple airplane. It's a, uh, you know, flies like a big giant slow 182 that uh, can land in the water, which is cool. What is cool though, <clears throat> is uh, you guys can go in here and see right there where it says beta reverse, which is where we can throw the prop complete backwards and we can back this thing out from a dock um, under its own power, which is pretty cool. So, I don't know, a couple cool things about the seaplane caravan. One of the really important things about the caravan before we fly is we always drain the fuel out of here. So when you shut down, this thing likes to spray fuel out of the bottom. And um, that can be a really big problem with the EPA if we're spilling fuel all over people's ramps. Uh, more importantly, uh, when we do water landings and we shut down, we don't even piss in jet A into the oceans. So Kyle, being the responsible pilot he is, every flight before we take off, make sure he sucks all the fuel out of that sucker and uh, we try to be good uh, humans. It's time to roll out. Oh God, it's so hard to get in. I'll still take getting into this over my citation. Rock and roll, buddy. Show them how it's done. Oh, we're going flying, boys and girls. Boys and girls, I like it. Starter ignites. It's an RPM. 13%. Low idle. Fire in the hole, ignition's on, ITT's rising. Pressure's good. Stay below the bed. Alright, so luckily we don't have too much sun at the moment, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the wing view tint. The slap shades are so awesome. We'll slap her up in the window, and there you go. Sun, no sun. It really help. It really helps with the glare, all kinds. 
Make sure you guys go follow them. We'll link them in the video. We'll tag them down below right now. It's Wingview 10. I use them every time I fly, and uh, you guys should too. As you just saw, we just landed in uh, Miami Harbor at the seaplane base here, right across the street from all the uh, cruise ships. Got Brickle over there, downtown Miami. So that was pretty cool. We are, basically just came in here just for fun. Uh, it's a cool video. It's fun to fly in and out of here. And uh, now we're gonna head on down to the Bahamas. <laughs> Just touched down at Andros, San Andros in uh, Bahamas. Just to clear customs real quick. Uh, clear customs and uh, that's it. We're gonna head on down to uh, Staniel Key. Go feed the pigs, have some lunch. I'm not flying today, so I might have a cocktail or two, who knows, but uh, check it out. Crazy little airport down here. Just touched down Staniel Key. We're gonna go get some lunch first before we go hit a water landing and go feed the pigs and all that stuff. So it's usually how we do it. We come in, get a little bite to eat, and then uh, head out to go play with the piggies. So that's what's up next. But we made it. Welcome to Staniel Key. It's pretty cool. Except for that guy. Looks like he had a pretty bad day. All right, so if you guys have never flown down to Staniel Key before, uh, what you do is you land here, and um, usually what we do is we go to Staniel Key Marina, and so you go into the little pink building I just showed you, or purple, whatever color it is, you tell them you wanna go there, they call, and then they come pick you up on golf carts, and they golf cart you over to the uh, marina, and there's an awesome restaurant there, the food is insane. Um, welcome to Staniel Key. <laughs>
All right, that's it. You guys saw it. Unfortunately, I have a flight to catch back to LA, so I wasn't able to, uh, we landed in the water. You guys saw we landed in the water. We just didn't have the time to, uh, to make it happen to go see the pigs today, unfortunately. So, um, that's pretty much it on this one. Um, we just took a little bit longer at lunch than we probably should have. Um, then the sun starts going down. Once the sun starts going down, water operations are no longer viable because we can't see what's ahead of us. We don't want to crash into submerged log or rock or something that we can't see. So that's pretty much it. Airplanes here. We just cleared customs. Life is super good. We had a lot of fun today, but uh, I got to run to Fort Lauderdale because I got a flight to catch in my flight boards in one hour and I'm about a 30 minute drive away and uh, got to go back to LA. So that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed this trip with me. Uh, enjoyed my caravan. It's really awesome. Kyle and I, we love it. Our other partner loves it as well. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. And uh, tell me how much of a crappy pilot I am or whatever. Thank you again so much for watching. Absolutely love you guys.